entirely just because of artificial intelligence and because uh, YouTube introduced this, this shitty tool uh, where people can basically just copy each other's like ideas and just like look at a video and go oh I'll make this video now and so nobody is going to make anything like new on YouTube ever again uh, it's hyperbolic of course people who don't use this fucking AI thing well but like you know obviously the big videos are all just going to be cyclically regurgitating the same exact shit and uh, it's gonna be really boring you know we're not gonna see any more leave Britney alone we're not gonna see any more Charlie bit my fingers that era of, of video is over because that requires just like inventive thought and spontaneity which is kinda what drew me to the online video creation in the first place I like the idea of being able to broadcast oneself uh, across the globe. I find that to be a very appealing idea for whatever reason. I just don't think there's too many people whose heads are really in it for that purpose anymore to like actually espouse ideas that some might consider valuable. I think everyone is just kind of worried about hopping on the latest trend. Uh, so I'm kind of bored with it, but I don't know. Maybe this this uh, sensation of apathy will pass. Anyway, I'm sticking around here till I get 1,000 subscribers and just generally because I'm bored and if anyone out there is listening then, you know, whatever. Uh, that's fine. Keep listening. Maybe you'll find something interesting on here. So anyway, I, I figured today I would make a video about a uh, what, what I, my real problem with artificial intelligence is. And I, I was only able to really put my finger on this last night because I saw a really shitty looking artificial intelligence poster on Broadway. I don't see so many on Colfax, but I do see them all along Broadway because there's all these groups with like very low standards who put these things together. And uh, I saw a big poster for, with like Lucifer on it, or I guess it was supposed to be fucking Lucifer. Fuck that stupid horse. That stupid horse has nothing to do with Denver, and anyone who's actually from Denver would know that. Um, Lucifer's stupid as fuck. Fuck Lucifer. Uh, stupid horse. But anyway, so there was this poster with this really shitty amalgamation of, I guess it was supposed to be blue, like the proportions are all off. Uh, the face was totally wrong. Uh, you know, just all around a, a general shambles. And I realized in that moment that my problem with AI art isn't actually the, the, the common argument set forward by so many people. It's not that uh, it, it's derivative. It is. Uh, it's, it's not that, you know, the, the data set is trained on everyone else's shit. It's not even that, like, it, it takes the job of, like, a real artist. And that's a huge ethical concern, but that's not my problem with it either. My, my problem with AI in general is that it, it encompasses the disintegration of ethics. And what I mean by that is uh, it, it's a piece of shit that everyone is expected to gawk at and like really praise and acclaim. And uh, I just can't bring myself to do that because it always looks like shit. I'm tired of even remotely pretending to entertain that this shit has any place in a civilized 21st century society. Literally all it will ever do is promote literacy. I mean, it, it, there can't even be fucking text in these images. You mean to tell me that this is supposed to have any kind of utility? Uh, like actual utility for people? Bullshit. Uh, this technology is fucking useless. Toss it in the trash. Uh, it's a piece of shit. That's what I have to say about it. Like, it's not that complicated. AI uh, is fucking trash. And uh, I think 
if people are honest about that, if people are honest about what they see, which I, I think this in general ties back to the standards have dropped like significantly. And this isn't just the, the thing in the last couple of years, it's been happening throughout the course of my lifetime, uh, is that standards are lower, I think, than they've ever been. Our expectations for what constitutes like a, a good narrative, a good image, a good song or whatever, are really low. So really the environment for the past 20 or so years has been ripe for something like AI to, to take hold. If not AI, then certainly something like AI. You know, there could have been like a fucking Adobe program that just created a shitty picture and people would have gone, wow, this is cool. Wow, it makes a shitty picture. Oh boy, boy, oh boy, this saves so much time now. But yeah, generally the lowering of standards. I mean, I've never been one to really lower my standards. Uh, I, I can detect quality in something when I see it. And uh, I think generally there's like a massive systemic shift just to like devalue quality as much as possible. Like for instance, in a society where something like, say, fucking Rick and Morty can be seen as like a quality franchise, don't even get me started on fucking Rick and Morty. You know, in, in a society where like Rick and Morty is seen as like a, a, a great cartoon, and I, I know it's not anymore, but believe me, there was a point in time I lived through where everyone was talking about Rick and Morty and it was just the hottest shit. Uh, in, in, in a world where Rick and Morty is viewed as like amazing, back in the day uh, there were great films like, you know, fucking uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey. Uh, you know, I, I think one of these is better than the other and I think it's patently dishonest to argue otherwise. But, you know, we still have, have people like, wow, it's Rick and Morty times uh, no, how about it's 2001 A Space Odyssey times? Go and watch that, you fucking chump. Yeah, I'm just kind of sick of seeing the lowering of standards generally. I think that's a heavy factor in the acceptance of AI shit. Uh, that nobody has any, like, standards anymore. But if I see a poster that looks like hot ass, uh, I'm just willing to say, looks like hot ass. Uh, and I see quite a few. And it's very disturbing. So whenever I see a nice poster, uh, by a local Denver artist that's like, has a neat style to it, it's very unique, it's like drawn with pen or, you know, whatever. Uh, that, that gets my spirits up quite a bit. I'm like, wow, you know, that looks good. It might not be perfect, but, you know, for what it's worth, uh, it's someone from Denver taking the time and effort and, you know, shit into their own hands. It's very inspiring. I like seeing a nice, well-designed poster, so. It really, all AI does is make me appreciate the, the hand-drawn stuff, like, even more. Like, it's very, it's very cool to see something that someone took actual time and energy making uh, instead of going the cheapo route. One issue I have is that, uh, not that I necessarily will be forced to use AI, because I'm never going to use fucking AI. It looks like shit. feels like shit. Uh, it's just generally like a, a soup of ass. But, you know, that I could potentially be put in a, a compromising position where, uh, you know, I could be forced to work with someone who's, uh, you know, just like ethically broken enough to use AI. Or, I, 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 I got, you know, like six degrees of Kevin Bacon, I might be working with someone who's worked with someone who's worked with someone who's used AI at one point or another. And I have to wonder how ethically broken one must be uh, to use an image generation prompt or a text generation prompt or whatever because these things are pathetic. It makes you a pathetic, weak little person to use these things. I've had this idea for a sci-fi short story going around for quite some time. I mean, I've already made one technically about AI, but uh, this is a fun idea too. This is an interesting premise where the entire world just kind of unravels, like on a reality level. Kind of like Annihilation, but with less like nature and more just like 
on a society type level. And I don't mean like society unravels, I mean like the world itself unravels, you know, like everything everyone is seeing and everything everyone is, is talking about just kind of decays into this homogenous, flavorless soup. I think that could be a really interesting sort of parallel uh, to the 2020s, maybe. I don't know. I think that could be a damn fun story because uh, the, the more time passes, the more everything just seems to like blend together. And it's probably just that, you know, this is what's happening is, you know, I'm getting to be, I'll be, what, 23 next year? And I imagine, you know, if I was like 22, 23-ish, when 9-11 happened, when fucking Watergate happened, when the Kennedy assassination or Pearl Harbor happened, you know, these types of things come along every so often, and it just tends to kind of entrench itself into the mind as the big topic that's currently the the big problem with the world that could potentially destroy civilization. I, I know in, in the rational part of my head that that isn't going to happen. I, I actually find it laughable that I even thought that like AI could destroy civilization because of how pathetic it is. I find it bizarre that I, I was even considering not making videos anymore because like why, why, why not do that? Why not just fucking do that? Even if nobody watches them, why not just fucking do it? It's not like I have anything better to do with my time. Like, the rational part of my brain knows that AI doesn't actually mean shit, and it'll pass. It's a fad, and people get sick of it. Uh, it's only a matter of time. I think people are already starting to kind of get fucking sick of it, because it looks like shit. So, like, obviously. And as much as people try to lie to themselves, uh, that it looks good, like, I think people know, uh, it's kind of obvious. But, you know, the, the more irrational part of my brain is kind of going, you know, this is, this is fucking bizarre. What the fuck is wrong with people? And I think, like I said, part of it is the lowering of standards. And part of it is just that, like, everyone is fed into a, a bullshit machine. And I think it's honestly reductive. Most people would probably say here that the, the problem is, is capitalism. Oh, you know, that like work isn't respected. Oh, the capitalism. I, I really don't know anymore if, if it, it's that simple. I think systems are, are complex in a way that like the fucking stock market just can't really explain. It'd be really interesting if we had, you know, like a, a communist equivalent anymore. I wish the Soviet Union hadn't dissolved because it'd be really interesting to see if like a communist nation uh, also fell for this AI shit. It might. Uh, th that's why I feel like the disintegration of the Soviet Union was kind of a loss for humanity because it provided a sort of control for, for our experiment, you know, it, it provided a contrast. Uh, which I think is something necessary. Again, that could have to do with the homogenization of the world, maybe. Just that there aren't, like, competing ideas anymore. It's, and that, that, that could have something to do with it. Anyway, I find it very funny whenever someone is like, Oh, you know, AI is just going to get better and better. Just going to get better and better. And I'm like, okay, but I can still tell. So... You know, I don't think there's going to come a point where I can't actually tell that something is AI. And I can tell it's AI because uh, it doesn't possess a semblance of, like, active human thought. Because if a human was making it, they would have the sense to recognize, oh, this looks stupid. I saw a poster the other day for a show that's like three firemen in a river and they're walking toward a giant shark that's coming out of the river that's like the height of a mountain and I just thought like this doesn't represent your music I know I, I know that no matter what this doesn't represent your music so like don't use this image to represent your music because this image is fucking stupid it just kind of takes like the human mind to think of something like that but I, yeah I can always tell when something is AI generated I'm not fucking stupid uh, and I find it kind of insulting, in fact, that someone would assume I was stupid. One trend I have noticed quite a bit 
is, you know, I'll go on YouTube and I'll look up some nice tunes. Uh, I like listening to music online while I draw or whatever. There's always recommendations in the sidebar for this AI shit. And I can always fucking tell when one of these shitty songs is AI generated. A, because the text on it uh, is like all fucking garbled and shit because these things can't produce text for shit. Not in a, like an aesthetically desirable way. And uh, the other thing is like it looks smooth and fake as fuck. And AI is always just going to look smooth and fake as fuck. And it has no human imperfection. And it looks like shit. Uh, and it's always like, ooh, uh, here's this fake 70s song. You want to listen to a real 70s song? Oh, sorry, uh, fake 70s song. And it's like, no, I don't want to listen to this shit. YouTube is really annoying to use now. I remember a point in time where it was like efficient and, and easy to use and you could find some really cool, obscure 70s music. Oh, here's fucking AI shit. McGee, damn, don't you want to listen to this fake music? Now I find it really funny, because back in the day I created this beatnik character called Mr. Hep. And Mr. Hep was basically like, kind of, eh, he was kind, he was kind of like a cartoony type, like, beatnik. And I would make these fake ads for Nicholas Comics, and uh, he would be like, oh, you know, here I am with, uh, with, with Lee the Agent from Naked Lunch, and it was just like a fun little idea I had. And I would post these on the Reddit, and I would always post them to like 50 subreddit or whatever. The, the moderators, you know, the shit for brains that run these places would be like, This is fake. Oh, don't, please don't interrupt the authenticity of our subreddit with your fake drawing of a fake person that isn't really from the 50s. Now, they probably take fake shit all the time. You can probably post all kinds of fake shit uh, to anywhere and just be like, yeah, this is from the uh, Teehee 1973 or whatever, uh, and nobody bothers to check, no one cares. And, you know, just in general, like the lowering of standards. The, the standards are hitting rock fucking bottom. And I think it's only a matter of time before people's standards start to rise again. I, I don't think it can just go on this continuous descent forever. I think people are going to get fucking sick of it. I don't know, are people going to get fucking sick of it? I might just be sitting here, you know. It might just go on and on and on and on. And it might be normalized. It might be uh, increasingly normalized. I don't think it should be normalized. I think AI deserves the middle fucking finger, because it's worthless. It's completely fucking worthless. I guess I'll end this video by showing you a, a nifty painting I made the other day. Um, I've posted this some other places, but I figured it was worth capturing in video form. This here is Turn On. I'm proud of this. I. I did this in watercolor. Uh, I haven't really uploaded any of my paintings or anything onto the internet because I just know they'll be used in training for AI data sets and uh, I'm not really about that. So if I post my art onto the internet it'll either be to some extremely obscure website that I don't think data crawlers visit or uh, it might be like posted and then like taken down like two days after because I do know that you know Maybe AI could pretend to make something vaguely like this, but uh, it wouldn't be able to make this, because uh, my human brain thought of it, and my human brain isn't a fucking computer. And, uh, yeah, it's just a beautiful little piece here. I've started painting a lot. Acrylic, watercolor, uh, I've especially st started going into acrylic, but there's a watercolor piece. And I like the kind of drip effect up at the top here from the... Uh, from the red and blue stripes. Uh, that's a, a neat effect that you can achieve with watercolor that doesn't work so well with acrylic. I might sell these paintings eventually. I mean, they're one of a kind and they're very cool, but I would like to enjoy them for a while. Maybe scan them in, you know, maybe uh, make some prints. I don't know. Painting is cool though. I really like it. Uh, yeah, so that's turn on for you. Way better than anything a fucking artificial intelligence could make. Uh, AI fucking sucks. Uh, and it belongs in the fucking dumpster. You know, I think over the next couple of years, people are going to get fucking sick of it. I'm tired of it. Uh, I'm ready for some shit that takes actual time and effort. 
And I get that it's, you know, a race to the bottom, the, the lowest common denominator, the cheapest possible option. Uh, sometimes you have to spend money uh, to pay for it, like art or something, though. And there isn't really, like, a cheat code that can get you out of that. Um, because it defies the law of conservation of energy. AI is bullshit, and uh, it's as simple as that. And I, I, don't, I don't buy into it for a fucking second. And I think the sooner we all just admit that this, uh, this technology is a pile of shit and a waste of time and a bunch of crap, the sooner people will be uh, more productive again, which I'm looking forward to. As a professional artist who actually takes my career seriously and uh, seems to be one of the only ones around here who does, I mean, you know, uh, someone's got to take, take us fucking seriously because, you know, it's... It's what I do with my life. So I prefer to be taken seriously as a person. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, then, uh, you know, say whatever, do whatever, think whatever, spadash, hear from the comics void now until the end of eternity. And the clouds of veteran on and on and on and on and on. A ribbon disintegrating. <laughs>